everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. This Costco haul has a ton of stuff. Non-food, food, all the things. We stocked up. It was crazy. And it was like $600. I know, right? But sometimes you just have to stock up. These are all of my non-food items. Plus, I did get some clothing. So, we'll go through those. And then I'll show you guys all the food stuff. Well, there's a non-food too. So, basically, why my bill was so high is because a lot of the non-food stuff was just added up quickly. So, we'll start down here. I got some whitening strips. This pack was like $30. So, um, big chunk. These string lights are for our outside porch like we have a screened in porch and we've been looking at them been looking at them online this was $50 I think it was $49.99 the sill pads I've been really wanting some so I just grabbed these I know they get always get them in around the holiday time they were $14.99 I, I tried to replace my baking sheets and then what I got was actually too big and it wouldn't fit my dishwasher. So I saw these and I said, I'm gonna try these out. These were $20 for all three of them. And then I got this, which is like a griddle. You can grill with the lines on one side or you can um, have the flat side on the other side. And since my stove has a middle portion like this, I decided to grab this, try it. It was like $20, I've been looking for them. And I just wasn't sure. I wanted to like feel it in person. So that's why I didn't order it online. So I stocked up on laundry detergent and I stocked up on uh, pods for my dishwasher. Last time I went to Costco, I got one of these too. I just wanted to be, have a stock for a while and not worry about it. Um, this I actually got, this was $10. And um, I think I'll probably go get another one before Halloween. But I wanted to be able to register as a house for the teal pumpkins. Have you guys ever heard of that? Um, where any kids with like food allergies, you can register and then they can trick or treat too. So um, you can basically you register as a house that will give away a non-food thing. So that's why I got these little Play-Dohs. So on to the big island over here. Of course we stocked up on toilet papers, paper towels. Um, we did actually buy these last time, but I have like a community closet I'll show you guys. And um, it's basically where I can pick from it, my mom can pick from it, because um, it's actually downstairs. If you didn't know, my mom lives with me and she has like a apartment that's connected to my house. And so we have like a community closet and we have a lot of things like that in the community closet. So I wanted it to be really, really stocked. I also got pillows. That's really what I wanted to go to Costco for, water and pillows. And so I tried these. Um, they were a two pack and they're a tri-cool pillow. So we'll see. I don't really like a hard pillow and I like a softer pillow, but I don't like it super thick and I don't want it too thin too. So hard to please like every other woman out there I'm sure, right? You know how you just have those things that you have preferences on? So this was all the food stuff. We'll go around. I got some bread. I'll probably put one out and freeze one of these. Got some croissants just as like a treat. We just buy these every so often. So I'll probably make some chicken salad um, and we can have that. This we actually bought last time and really, really liked it. So I went ahead and got another one. Stocked up on some mushrooms, the um, baby Bella ones and the white mushrooms. I have a really good pasta recipe and so that's why I got the white mushrooms. I usually put them in that recipe. I haven't bought this forever guys but I was thinking just some fast easy meals to have on hand so just grabbed that. Really good just cheese tortellini and you can freeze it so it comes in a two pack so I usually freeze one and keep one out. This is our favorite Caesar salad. It's a huge bag. Look huge and my family of three We'll eat the whole bag. It's that good, y'all. So we got two of those. They're kind of pricey. They have gone up in price, I will say. Um, they used to be like six something, and now they're seven seventy nine. But they're so good. And if you want to take something, oh my gosh, I'll take this as like a potluck dish, and everybody thinks it's amazing. Um, these were kind of an impulse purchase. I really wanted to get some protein bars. Um, because the protein bars I bought last time had a lot of nuts in them. And um, I just noticed that they made me cough 
all day long. So if I ate one in the morning, I would just cough because of all the nuts. So I'm hoping that um, these won't be like that. And I know lots of people like these shakes. So I thought, you know, I'm going to try them. Or it's like a protein drink. Uh, just some romaine because, of course, staple item. Uh, this was an end cap thing that just looked really good, so I wanted to try it. Um, of course, a rotisserie chicken. We were thinking about doing some tacos, and I said, let's just get a chicken. We don't have to worry about it. My husband picked up these. This is actually non-food as well. Um, three umbrellas, and actually I think one of these is my mom, and then this one's mine, and this one's my husband's. He was just so tired of us not being able to find our umbrellas lately that he was like, we're buying these. I was like, okay. They were $8 a piece, but this one is my mom's. I don't know how it got out here. Um, I got some Gala apples. These were on a good price. I want to say they were cheaper than the other ones. I really wanted to get the Honey Crisp, but they were like $12.99 $12 or something like that. But the galas will be great. A big thing of carrots because my guys are all about this. Got some cucumbers and some asparagus. I love their asparagus there. I don't know if you guys see through this bag here. But I got a two thing of chuck roast. And it was... $22.65. One of them is quite a bit smaller than the other. And then these, I actually saw people buying like a bunch of these. And I, they were like, oh, they're on sale. Let's get some. And they bought like three or four. And I was like, hmm. So it got me. I was like, I want to try them. <laughs> so they looked good. And it looked like you had two packs of them. So I thought, oh, this would be good because we can do two different meals. Even like a lunch for my husband. So lots of possibilities there. Okay, guys, got this whole pile of clothes, and what I'll do is I'll just show you the tags so you can see. So I got this jacket, which is this, like, pretty um, kind of rose blush color, and the inside is all furry like this, but the outside is like a, like a weather kind of rainproof. So I actually bought one like this that was white, and I've been really, really liking it, so I actually, that's why I got another one. My husband got these pants. And he got them in two colors. So he got this black color and I guess this more like army green color. So we'll see how he likes those. Got these like, I feel like they're like pajama pants. I don't know. But they are supposed to be really, really warm. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to get these. <laughs> and they are just kind of this like, almost like a fleece. I don't know. They're a really warm material. So I thought, you know what? I'm always cold, so this will be perfect. All right, guys, these are my find of the day. I got a shirt like this. Um, I got this green color and a gray color, and they were $4.97. Oh, my gosh. But I like that it had the scoop, or not the scoop. I like that it had the V-neck right here. It's a little bit longer in back. It also has these embellishments on the top, but they weren't too crazy. So I'm really hoping that this fits good. You can see I got it in these two colors so I'm really hoping they fit good but for $4.97 I just could not pass it up we had looked at these we had looked at some of these for my husband before and he I couldn't convince him to buy anything for himself that day because you know he's like that and um, do you guys have this problem like your husband's like no I don't need it I'm good and so some days he's good about it and some days he's not um, today he actually did pick out some stuff though, and this was one of the shirts he picked out. Um, it's not a super heavy flannel, but I just thought that it would, but I really like this. He kind of went back and forth between like a blue one that was more plaid. I actually really like the, I really like the material. It looks very fall to me. This is my communal closet. It's just a deep closet that goes under my stairs. So I try to put all of the community stuff in here. I really, really like to have four cases of water on hand. So that's why there's four of those. I always put soda in here as well. So we're like crazy stocked up on that. Um, I always hang my vacuum in here and my brooms and stuff. Otherwise, um, these are the paper towels and um, toilet paper that I had on hand. So we will probably stock put the rest of the stock in here. And you can see I have a stock of kitchen bags. This is my lowly stock of food. Um, I need to beef that up for sure. 
and I always have like paper products down here. So this closet is meant to basically be like a communal and an overflow that we can keep in the house. All right, guys. So I just, um, so I just got a few things: some strawberries, some blackberries, some blueberries. Um, I really wanted to try these because everybody hauls them. So I think my little guy is gonna really enjoy that. They didn't have any whole Brussels sprouts. They usually have really good ones there, but they had these, so I got them. Um, I d had no like salad, anything, so I just got some romaine lettuce and then. I got some salami and some cheese for kind of like a snack. I saw this there and I've been wanting to get some liquid stevia. I really wanted some coffee this morning, but I knew that there were probably a ton of carbs in what the creamer that I usually use. Um, I got these cookies because they said Lacey's cookies. And so I thought, why not? Um, this is some other salad. It was basically spinach and arugula. And I like to like mix the two. Um, got some broccoli, some spinach, and some green beans. I really like roasting vegetables, so I, and I like to roast these mushrooms usually with either green beans or broccoli, or I even have some cauliflower over here. And my favorite is always the asparagus. I got two things of it. Got my Got the hubby two things of pickles and got two things of eggs. I also got some um, Chinese food like the mandarin orange chicken um, for my husband to have for lunch. But that was my haul. Only like $80 worth, but doesn't seem like very much for $80. Okay guys, that is my huge stock up. Um, it kind of went for water and then you know, this happens, right? So <laughs> there was a lot of non-food stuff that we just needed and thought was a better deal at Costco than anywhere else. Do you guys have non-food stuff that you buy solely at Costco? Is there something that you're like, oh, I always buy this at Costco, but it's non-food? I would really be curious because um, the more I shop at Costco, the more I wanna buy all the things there. I just feel like there's good quality stuff. So. Yep, that was our haul today, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all again in another brand new video. Bye for now.